Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Effects Tutorials series, you are going to learn how to create hand-drawn spider diagram in PowerPoint. The spider diagram you will learn to create today looks like this. Though the diagram looks simple, the real impact comes from the organic feel which is uh, created by hand drawing the various elements of the diagram. You can use a spider diagram for many things. One of it is if you want to show multiple outcomes from one action or if you want to depict multiple factors that come out of a single core, you can use spider diagram. And let us see how to create this very interesting looking spider diagram from scratch by going to a new slide. There are two elements that we are going to draw. One is this arrow, the second one is the circle. We make copies of the arrow to create the tentacles or, or uh, the legs of a spider and um, the, the core is going to be drawn using the arc tool. Let us see how to do this uh, from scratch here. Let me go to the home tab here. The tool I am going to use to draw the curved arrow is under lines and it is called as curve. I click on it. Now I click anywhere on the slide to be to have the starting point uh, ready and I am not having the mouse clicked. So I, I choose another point where I want to have a slight bend on the arrow. I click there and then I decide the angle of curvature. So I take the mouse down and then at the end point I double click to finish the curved line. So that is how we create a curved line which forms the stem of the arrow for us. Let us increase the thickness to 2 1 by 4 points so that you can see the lines very clearly and usually the color that um, works quite nicely for a hand drawn effect is a gray color and we are going to choose that color. The next thing is to create the organic arrowhead for which we are going to use under lines the tool called a scribble tool. The way you draw lines using scribble tool is while you draw you need to keep the mouse clicked continuously. So that is how it works and as soon as you click you can see that the cursor changes into a pencil. Now I am going to draw this very quickly otherwise uh, you will see wavy lines. So I am going to start here while holding the mouse button. I draw the arrowhead and that's it. Very simple. Don't try to be perfect there. The more irregular the arrowhead looks, the better it is in terms of the feel it gives. Now we are going to give the color as gray and we are going to increase the thickness to 2 1 by 4 points. Now we are going to select both elements and press Ctrl G to group them and this forms one of the legs of the spider diagram. If you want to call that a leg, really. Uh, the next thing is to make copy of it. For this, I am going to press Ctrl D while having this uh, group selected. So Ctrl D. And I am going to rotate this slightly so that the end point, the starting point is the same, whereas the end point is slightly away from the previous uh, arrow. I am going to make another copy by pressing Ctrl D. And this time I am going to rotate it the other way around so that the starting point is the same and I have the arrow pointing away from the previous ones. So that is how I create one set of uh, arrows. Now I select all of these, press Ctrl G to group them. Let us see if I have selected everything, no not really. So we need to have this also selected, so Ctrl G and there we have. we have selected all of this and grouped them. Now I am going to make a duplicate of this and have these arrows facing the other side. So Ctrl D to duplicate, go to arrange, rotate and flip horizontal and have the other, the, set, the duplicate set facing the other way around. So that is the next set. There we are. Now we have got the arrows from the center point. Now we need to make the circle. 
we are going to make the circle using this tool called as arc tool under basic shapes and the way it works is you click on the tool hold the shift button while you draw the arc and this forms the base for a perfect circle by default the arc makes one quarter of a circle or the circumference of a circle and when we pull the yellow handle down you can see that the circle gets formed so we pretty much are going to make the full circle only that we are not going to touch the end points that is a pretty good circle the only problem with the circle now i am increasing the thickness here just to make sure that it is um, in line with the rest of the diagrams the only problem with the circle is it looks too perfect to be a hand drawn diagram so we are going to make some adjustments and make it look imperfect because that is where the essence of creating hand drawn diagrams is i'm going to right click and go to this option called as edit points i click on it and that automatically shows you the various points that you can edit to make uh the arc imperfect i click on one of the ends and move it slightly inside and as i do that i could see that this whole curvature is also getting affected by that which i don't really want because i want this to be pretty much close to the previous the original uh, curvature so i am going to use this short handle here and i am going to lift this the the more distance i pull it out the more curvature happens and then i can move it the way i want to change the angle of depression so that is good enough now i have it more or less in line with the previous um, curvature that is good enough the next thing i'm going to do is to hold the other head and i'm going to move this slightly maybe overlapping here not really uh, overlapping so much and i have got it pulled to some extent now once again this is distorted i want the distortion to be adjusted so that it is distorted to the way that i want now i have got that done now by doing this automatically the circle looks quite um disturbed which is which is quite good you can always make some minor adjustments to suit your specific style so maybe i can move this slightly up and and this i am quite happy with and i'm going to make the fill to be white in color and i'm going to keep it here in the middle and there it is my spider diagram is ready and all that is left for me to do is to add text so i'm going to write your text here whenever we use whenever we create organic diagram we also want the font to look hand drawn or hand written so the font that we're going to use for this is sego print you can increase the size of the font so that you can clearly see the text here i am also going to write the sample text around all the arrow heads as well so your sorry your text here once again we are going to change the font to sego print maybe 20 and here here the way that i am creating the copies is i am holding the control button while i move this text to a new position so that automatically creates a duplicate for uh the object that you select and there the spider diagram is complete spider diagram is one of the management models which is used quite commonly in business presentations i want to show you some more hand drawn diagrams which are quite useful for any business presenter and the examples i show you are going to give you an idea of the kind of things that you can do with the hand drawn effect and the kind of impact it creates the first example i am going to uh, show you is this one called as hierarchy diagram though these circles look pretty 
perfect because of the kind of uh, effect used here which is almost like the charcoal effect you can see that there is that organic element brought to it and here we have got the ellipse um, distorted to make it look like it is hand drawn so this is one example and this is another example of cloud network and you can see here the various icons that have a hand drawn feel uh, here the uh, font that we have used is tempest sans let me show you another example of a complex network diagram here you can see a ring and you have a printer and the various um, computers connected to the server and things like that the beauty of this is every element of the templates from our hand drawn graphics pack is totally editable for example if you want to have this ungrouped you can go to group ungroup and you can have this moved the way you want you can change the color of uh, this to say this is shape fill you can have this sorry i think this is uh, just to make sure that it is not heavy we have uh, converted into a picture if that is the case then we can always change the color and here you have i have taken red color and you can see that whole thing can converted into red if you want to change the lines you can do that by going to shape outline and having it in the color that you want and if you want the font color to change you can go and change the font color so every element here is totally editable let me show you another example template because i want to show you another type of uh, hand drawn diagrams that are there in the pack here you can see a simple circle diagram with four directions shown and this is another a uh, diagram which shows three interrelated factors and you can see a very rough feel to the various uh, the edges and the lines here to make the diagram look really attractive as you can observe these kind of diagrams take a lot of time and effort to create if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking hand drawn graphics for yourself you can always take a look at our 300 plus pro powerpoint hand drawn graphics uh pack there are graphics concepts and models for powerpoint which you can insert into your slide replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time and there are really spectacular variety of uh, graphics to make every idea of yours to be converted into a a very interesting visual so I hope you really liked our tutorial on creating hand drawn spider diagram in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such tutorials, if you want to read more articles or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you've just seen, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.